Hello everybody, this time we're going to attach the flaps, which is one of the last steps of the wings. We're going over the manual to see how to attach the ailerons and the flaps. The ailerons are with hinges, the flaps are with piano hinges. Uh, and they have to need to align up. So we have to know how to attach the other side of the piano hinges. Okay, we're cleaning the table and then we can put the first wing under, this is the right wing. And we attach the ailerons. And we have to do it uh, complete, so not just uh, for the length, but also for the exact distance between the aileron and the flaps. I think there's one, one quarter inch should be between the aileron and the, and the flaps. So we have to uh, yeah, align them correctly. And then attach the flaps and lining them up. It's a hassle with the watch washers because uh, yeah, it's a very tight space of course. There's the piano hinge for the flaps. The other side is already attached to the flap, so there's a flap. I initially forgot to um, align the aileron. So here we're uh, aligning it, but I didn't keep the aileron straight with the rest of the wing. I figured it out, probably about here. Then I'll line up the aileron with the rest of the wing. You see it's the angle to see if all the tool holes are in a straight line, so that the cord of the of the wing is uh, correct. And then I uh, line up aileron and flap. Once, uh, once two holes, outer holes are uh, drilled, you can of course uh, drill the rest. So then it goes very fast. I just keep on drilling and my dad keeps on clicking. Which is a good strategy. We remove the, aileron, the flap and now we can drill the holes finally. I always drill a little bit smaller, so not to, uh, so I can drill the final hole with uh, the correct size. Okay, attaching the piano hinge, and now we need to clico it, and we use the squeezer for the uh, riveting. You have to be careful there because actually the, the you also have to click out the uh, rivet the top skin. So you rivet three layers. You rivet the top skin, the brace, and the uh, the piano hinge. And it, the plans called out for a uh, number four rivet, but actually I found it is a little short, so we used four and a half, which I'll probably run out of because I probably don't have enough four and a for the fuselage. But we'll see that later. Okay, attaching the flap, and it actually was, uh, yeah, a great lineup, so I really liked it. There are two ways to attach the flap, uh, what I mean by that is uh, finally, so um, yeah, we can, uh, you can do it from, from one side or in the middle, I chose to use it from one side. We do the same for the left wing, you can see the left wing because it has a pita tube attached to it. So it's the same procedure, we attach the ailerons first, lining it up, and then uh, starting with flap. This is one of the last parts of the wings, uh, of course we still need to do the uh, tip. Uh, same as actually with the empennage. Uh, I'm going to do this probably this summer when it's a little bit warmer so the raisin will uh, cure better. Yeah, same steps. Drilling all the holes. Clicking all the holes. We, have to, we, we measure the distance between uh, yeah, the skin and the, uh, the aileron. And the flap, I mean.
drilling all the holes so we can remove the flap. And then we can rivet everything. Deburring the piano hinges. And again we used four and a halfs here. And that's it. Now we can attach the flap again. It's there. Okay, that's it. Wings are ready. We can put them in the cradle and then uh, make room for the fuselage. Next time we continue with the fuselage, building my pie in the sky.